हर लब पर किसका नाम है अतार का तार का हर दिल में एहतराम है अतार का तार का तार खुदा की रहमत है तार 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 नबी की नायत है द प्रॉफिट ऑफ मैन खाइंड द पीस ऑफ हार्ट एंड माइंड मोस्ट जनरस एंड खाइंड सल्ला वसलम है सैद डेकोरेट यो गैदरिंग्स विद द रिसाइटेशन ऑफ दुरुद शरीफ It will be the noor, the light for you on the day of judgment. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu taala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, sallatu sallam an alaika ya Sayyidi, ya Mursidi, ya Habib, ya Tabib, ya Rasul Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Whenever we're listening to the name of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, are we taking the name? of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is necessary upon us to recite durud sharif in the court of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is mentioned in hadith It is mentioned in hadith that the Prophet of mankind, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, has mentioned whoever listen to my name, hearing my name, and he is not sending durud sharif upon me, he is stingy amongst the people. Kanjus. If somebody calls us a stingy man, oh Maulana, you big stingy. How do you feel? You feel very bad. So what Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioning that is stingy amongst the people. And another another hadith it says that the one who is listening to my name is not sending durud sharif. So may Allah send His curse upon him. May Allah destroy him. So keep this thing in your mind. If you're listening to the bayan, you're talking about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is necessary upon you to send durud sharif. Why it is mentioning like it is he is stingy amongst the people who is listening to my name and even not sending the durud sharif because when you moving our tongue, our tongue is not on petrol. It's not using the diesel. It's not working on the electric. we're not using anything we're not spending anything but still if you don't want to move our tongue so it is the same as we is, is mentioned into the hadith so keep this thing in your mind that whenever you're listening to the name of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam make sure that you sending durud sharif in the court of beloved of allah azza wa jalla sallallahu alaihi wasallam sallu ala alhabib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم صلاة وسلام عليك يا رسول الله نثار تيري چهل پهل په هزار و عيد ربيع الاول نثار تيري چهل پهل په هزار و عيد ربيع الاول سواي ابليس کے جہاں میں سبھی تو خوشیاں منا رہے ہیں everyone is happy except شیطان and the follower of shaitan see the month of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came and the muslim is not showing his attitude is not showing his patience his joys his love his respect toward his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and after all it is mentioned in quran that amma bi ni'mati rabbika fa hadd If you have 
mercy and the bounties of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed you. وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ فَحَدِّثْ means you have to celebrate it. You have to show. So the, what is the biggest ni'mat in our life? What is the biggest bliss of Allah? What is the biggest mercy of Allah? It is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we have to show. We're decorating our houses and our masjid to show that this is not the ordinary month. This is the month of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And because of this month, because of this month, because of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we found the month of Muharram al Haram, we found the month of Ramadan al Mubarak, and we found the Quran, the Iman, the Kalima, the Islam, inshallah, and we'll have the paradise because of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it's not because that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is our Prophet, that's why always you're praising him. You can't praise. When Allah says in the Quran, he's mentioning that, you know, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ O Mahbub Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I will elevate your dhikr. I will elevate your dhikr. I will elevate your dhikr. تو پست وہ کیسے ہو سکتا ہے پست وہ کیسے ہو سکتا ہے جس کو حق نے بلند کیا پست وہ کیسے ہو سکتا ہے جس کو حق نے بلند کیا دونوں جہاں میں ان کا چرچہ کل بھی تھا اور آج بھی ہے اور کل بھی ہوگا انشاءاللہ you know in the world we see the king king of any state he got the wazir wazir means the ministers ministers but this is we talking about this earth he got the ministers he got the, like you know, his servants to serve him. But what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned, he mentioned that I got two wazir in this world. I got two wazir in this world and two in the skies. Mere do wazir zameenon par hai aur do aasmanon par hai. In the earth is Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu and Farooq Azam radiyallahu anhu. And on the sky, Hazrat Jibreel Amin Ali Salatu Salam and Hazrat Mekail Ali Salatu Salam are the ministers of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It means the kingdom of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is not only in this earth. It is all over the universe. All over the universe, Alhamdulillah. That is the reason a shayar says, very beautiful, he says, Ab meri nigahon mein, ab meri nigahon mein jachita nahi koi, اب میری نگاہوں میں جچتا نہیں کوئی جیسے میرے سرکار ہیں ایسا نہیں کوئی جیسے میرے سرکار ہیں ایسا نہیں کوئی اور تاریخ اگر ڈھونڈے گی ثانی محمد تاریخ اگر ڈھونڈے گی ثانی محمد ثانی تو بڑی چیز ہے سایہ نہ ملے گا ثانی تو بڑی چیز ہے سایہ نہ ملے گا اور یہ شان لطافت ہے تم سا تو حسی میری آنکھوں نے دیکھا ہی نہیں کوئی تم سا تو حسی میری آنکھوں نے دیکھا ہی نہیں کوئی اور یہ شان لطافت ہے کہ سایہ ہی نہیں کوئی یہ شان لطافت ہے کہ سایہ ہی نہیں کوئی and then حضرت شیخ محدث دیلوی اور رحمت اللہ تعالیٰ لوٹی سید یا صاحب الجمال یا صاحب الجمال و یا سید البشر یا صاحب الجمال و یا سید البشر من وجہ کل منیر لقد نوور القمر من وجہ کل منیر لقد نوور القمر لا يمكن ثناء كما كان حقه لا يمكن ثناء كما كان حقه بعد ذ خدا بزرگ توی قصہ مختصر بعد ذ خدا بزرگ توی قصہ مختصر and then what Hassan bin Sabit رضي الله عنه the Sahabi of Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has mentioned he said وأحسن من كلام ترقت أيني وأجمل من كلام تلد النساء وأحسن من كلام ترقت أيني وأجمل من كلام تلد النساء خلقت مبرعا من كل أيب كأنك قد خلقت كما تشاء يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم I haven't seen the beautiful face like your face I haven't seen because there is no any other face like the face of the مصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم and then he said يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وأجمل من كلام تلد النساء no mother gave birth the beautiful son like you true the reality, no any mother, 
can give birth. The beautiful son, like the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Khuliqta mubarra'a min kulli aybin. Allah azza wa has created you free from any defect. Any defect. And then, ka'annaka qad khuliqta kama tasha. As Allah azza wa created you as you wished. Allah azza wa created you as you wished. And which is mentioned in the Quran also that you know. Wala sofa yu'ati ka rabbuka fatarda. O Mahbub sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'll give you as much. You'll become happy to me. Imam al Sunnah, what he has mentioned, he says, Do alam chate hai khuda ki raza. Do alam chate hai khuda ki raza or khuda chahata hai raza'i Muhammad. Do alam chate hai khuda ki raza or khuda chahata hai raza'i Muhammad. So alhamdulillah. We are very, very fortunate that Allah Azza wa Jal has made us Muslim. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Allah Azza wa Jal made us a ummati of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Once, Hazrat Junaid Baghdadi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala was walking with the Muridi in the Baghdad. She found a dog. She found a dog. So he stood up. And dog started talking to Hazrat Junaid al-Baghdadi rahmatullahi ta'ala. And he was standing like this, giving so much of respect to the dog. When the dog left, the muridin, they got shocked. They asked Ya Sayyidi, why are you giving at most of respect to the dog? Why? What is the reason? He said, the dog asked me a question. He said, O oh Junaid, what good deed you committed and what sin I committed, Allah made you Junaid Baghdadi and Allah made me a dog. So he said, I started crying and answered him, gave him the answer, it is only the mercy of Allah. It's not us, it's not we, it's not me that we made dua in the court of Allah, Ya Allah Zawajal, made us the lover and the follower of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah made us a lover and the ummati of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Did we give the thank in the court of Allah? Ask about yourself, ourself. We ask from ourself. Have we given thank in the court of Allah? We gave thank. If we didn't give, we have to give thank to Allah. We have to give thank to Allah that Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, Tira Shukr Mawla, Thanks a lot, Ya Allah. You made me Muslim. Instead of making Muslim or Insan a human being, you can make us dog, you can make us a, a donkey. But Ya Allah, your shukr that you made me a Muslim and you made me a lover of the Prophet. See, we must be proud on our Prophet. As you know, it is mentioned in the Quran that Allah Azza wa Jalla says, "Inna kafayna kal mustahzin." I am enough for the one which who is talking bad about Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We saw two weeks before what happened in Norway. There was somebody who was talking bad about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He had so many security guards and this and that. And when, what happened to him? He got hurt with the truck. And his car got burned. And when Alim from Pakistan, at that time, he gave him baddua. Ya Allah, usse jala kar halak karna. O Mawla, destroy him in the fire. Burn him in the fire. And after two years, this baddua came true. Allah burnt him. So as we live into our respected Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we must think that who we talking about. Who are we talking about? Hazrat Allama Jalaluddin Sayyuti Shafi'i radiallahu anhu. He's the one which who had the ziyarat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 75 times with the naked eyes. With the naked eyes, physically, 75 times. You can understand Allama Jalaluddin Sayyuti Ash Shafi'i radiallahu anhu. How great Ashiqi Rasul he will be. What he said, he mentioned in Bukhari Sharif hadith in the Sharah, in his tafsir. He said, 
You know the Mongol mole? There was a one Mongol mole prince. He embraced the Christian religion. And because of his, like, you know, accepting the religion, changing the religion, there was a big seminar. They kept the big seminar. There was a big pastors came, the fathers came. One pastor, he started talking bad about the Prophet ﷺ. Next to him, there was a dog. There was a dog. They tied him there with the tree. So he started barking. Some people, they made him to concentrate that, you know, you're talking bad about the Prophet of Muslim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why the dog is barking. He said, no, this dog is very honorable. That's why, you know, when I'm talking, like, you know, my hand is going like on that direction. Maybe he's thinking that I'm trying to hit him. So that's why. But he never stopped. Continue was talking bad about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And finally, the dog gave jerk to the rope and break it and then jumped into that pastor and hold him from his neck. The people, they were trying to pull him away, but he hold it very tightly until that pastor he died. He gone, he left. After looking this miracle of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal, the wrath of Allah Azza wa Jal, the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal, 100,000 mole, they embrace Islam. 100,000 mole, they embrace Islam at the same time. So Alhamdulillah, we are the ummati of that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Allah Azza wa protect. And you know, Alhamdulillah, Azat Isa Ali Salatu Salam, the wish in the court of Allah, Ya Allah, make me the ummati of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Understand, yeah? See, the status of the Anbiya is so high. But being a Nabi of Allah, Still, he is demanding in the court of Allah, Ya Allah, make me a ummati of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What great luck we have, Alhamdulillah. Why don't we be proud of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why shouldn't we give so much of respect to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Yes, obviously, we have to give. You know what Jibreel Amin Ali Sallallahu Alaihi says? It is mentioned in the hadith, أنا عائشة الصديقة رضي الله عنها قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن جبريل أمين عليه الصلاة والسلام what he said he said قلبت مشارق الأرض ومغاربها فلم أجد رجلا أفضل من محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولم أرى بيتا أفضل من بيت بني حاشم يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم I took a round of east and west and south and everywhere but I haven't seen the beautiful face like your face and I haven't seen the beautiful house like the house of Banu Hashim. So this is the house of my Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the personality of my Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You see people talking like, you know, Burak. The speed of Burak. Where the first eye glance is rich at the end. Like our, the power of our eyes is that, you know, when you look toward the sky, without any, like, you know, no time, our eyes is going to the sky, we can see the sky, okay? This is the power of our eye. But what, should, what is the power of the burak? What should be the power of the burak? What can be the power of the burak? When he, where he looked, his first step, gone there. Understand? But you see, like, you know, if you compare in this world, like Bugatti Veyron, the fastest car, on the earth, on the planet, Bugatti Veyron, 437 kilometer per hour. 437 kilometer per hour, the fastest car in the world. But what about the fastness of the Burak? What about the fastness of Burak? And but, Ashikane Rasul, the lover of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what he said, what they said, they said, that was not the power of Burak. 
That was the power of Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he rided on the burak. Burak got that power. That is the reason we call him burak. But where the burak gone? When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam reached to the Sidratul Muntaha, and then Jibril Amin Ali sallallahu sallam, what he said? He said, "Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I'm out. I can't go forward." No people they can say they can criticize. Oh, see, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he need the burak. So that is the reason. Allah showed to the people until the day of judgment. My Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he don't need the burak. He don't need the Jibril. His self he can come to me and he came. He went in the court of Allah azza wa jalla. So this is the power of a Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We should be proud. We should be very proud on that we are the ummati of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Finally, before I conclude, see. In Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal has said, "وَإِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ وَلَإِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ إِنَّ عَذَابِ الْشَدِيدِ." If you give, give thanks in the court of Allah, I'll give you more. But if you deny, so my punishment is very dangerous. It says in Quran, "إِنَّ بَطْشَ رَبِّكَ لَشَدِيدٌ." The grip of Allah is very strong. So now, Alhamdulillah. We are a ummah of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Today is my request to you, all of you, included me. From today, insha Allah, zawajal, we start thanking in the court of Allah. Every dua you make, you make dua, ya Allah, thank ya Allah, you made us Muslim and you made us the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because if you give thank to Allah, la in shakar tum. La azid anna kum Allah raise you, Allah elevates you, status in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then, inshallah, finally, at the time of death, because you give thank to Allah Azza wa Jal because of this ni'mat, what you holding in your heart, iman. Inshallah, you will get success to protect your iman. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal. May Allah Azza wa Jal give give us protection of iman. May Allah give us the real love of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and give us tawfiq to celebrate. To celebrate, insha Allah, Zawajal, and to show your love toward your Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, go and get some lights from the market and decorate your house. Show to the people that Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, we Muslim. I was Imam in Free State, so our masjid, the Merkaz of Dawat Islami, we decorated it with you know, with open heart. So there is no big number of Muslim. So the people that was passing from there. So they they used to come, and they ask what happening here. <laughs> so we used to tell them we're celebrating the day of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So what he said? He said, "Oh, your church, your church love your Prophet too much. I want to join your church. Maybe some non-Muslim can become Muslim to see your love to your Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam." Allah Taala give us tawfiq. Amin. بجاه النبي الامين صلى الله عليه وسلم وما علينا الا البلاغ المبين